Didn't God bless the seventh day and sanctify it because that in it he had rested from all his work? Genesis chapter one. No, two. Wouldn't you rather that we gave them scrambled eggs on toast? You can't ask people to stand in lunch and give them scrambled eggs. You don't ask them. Somebody's taking the striker again. Oh, well, just tell them that it's ready. It's Sunday lunch. Anyway, you shouldn't just take it. You only have to ask. And when I ask, she always says no. We made a pact. A whole Sunday with no row. I'm not rowing. You promise to try. I am trying. Please, Jude. There's the whole afternoon to get through. You'd better go and wash your hands. Working hard again, Mother. If Constantia had her way, we'd all be eating scrambled eggs. Rent, you've got to hurry up. 
we're all nearly finished and yours is going cold. Go away. I'm not hungry. You won't get any pudding. I'm not coming. You've got to. Well, I won't. If you're not coming in to eat, you can make yourself useful. I'll give you the tray for Aunt Louisa. Serves you right. Aunt Louisa's ugly. And she drops food down her dress. Well, you're so stupid and cruel and ignorant. Now look where you're going with it and don't pity daddy. It won't keep hot while you squabble with Sarah. I don't think anyone's firm enough with him. We don't want to make him unhappy. Well, he is unhappy. Of course he's not. Pass up your plate, Ellis. I know it's difficult, Constantia, but I do think it's possible to overcompensate for being on your own. She is not on her own. Sarah, dear, pass Daddy's plate, will you? Oh, that was very good. We all say different things. But he's not doing what anyone says. Well, we were the same, Liz. You can't have forgotten burning. Well, I don't remember being allowed to disrupt entire meals and to ignore visitors to the house without being sent to my room. You were never sent to your room. Well, I never behaved like that. No, but Jude's difficulties... Brian. Thank you, Father. Wait till your father stop talking. Well, Jude's difficulties are fortunately not insurmountable. I said no custard. It's all part of it, Mark. I'll just leave the custard, Mark. Uh, the farmer's robe... Change it for this one, Mark. There's not so much on it. Uh, the farmer's robe can largely be compensated for by a good boarding school, mm -hmm. whereas nothing can replace that instinctive maternal love which germinates with the seed Thank itself. Uh, the mother has the egg, Michael. It's the father with the seed. That's just the romantic view of biology I'd expect to find in a lawyer. I know women. Inside and out. He's not going to boarding school. Mm, well, I may not be a gynecologist, but I do maintain that a well-bred child in a comprehensive school is being equalized out, in however many parents he has. I know mothers. Inside and out. Jude has a perfectly adequate mother. Can I stay while you eat it, Aunt Louisa? Shouldn't you be having your own lunch? No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, then you can share mine. What do we have today? Beans, potatoes and meat. Or oh, some gravy. We we'll finish that with some of this. It's nearly all custard. have yours in the dining room with everyone else i think it works very well like this gran won't let you will she your gran is extremely good to me she doesn't love you <laughs> well then don't you think that makes her goodness all the more remarkable It's easy to be good to people when you don't love them. They can't make you angry. They can't make you cry. It's a long time since I've cried. I could make you cry. I cried when Kevin Phillips went away to school. No one saw. You going to eat that trifle? <laughs> there are times when I could almost wish we had a television. Just once or twice a year. We are still at the table, Ellis. What's up? They're showing Brief Encounter on BBC One. <laughs> Why read what's on when you know you can't watch it? Father likes to sneer at what everybody else is watching. <laughs> that was a good film. I don't know why you don't get a set. Only bored people watch television. There's no excuse for being bored. No, we don't watch excessively. I limit the children to three hours a week. But I do feel they should have some exposure to our popular culture. Aunt Louise would let you watch hers. Scarcely seems worth going to those lengths. Is Jude still in there? He hasn't had anything to eat. Jude and Louise are too close. 
And she can't be good for him. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to visit her, Constantia? On the way back from choir practice. She was always dressing to go out to dinner or to the theatre. Long black gloves and <laughs> tiny round hats with feathers. There was a man called uh, Gordon. No, it was Geoffrey. And then later on, there was Dennis Healy. And <laughs> well, that can't be right. No, Heaney. Douglas Heaney. Oh, I didn't know you were going round there. Oh, you'd never have let us. Oh, she didn't do me any harm. Who's to say? Well, it wasn't that often. I sometimes used to go on my own. I could talk to her about anything. She used to smell of gardenias. She always was an irresponsible woman. She wasn't irresponsible. She had no responsibilities. She should have got married. Any number of men would have had her. Any number did. She never got over David. We all lost someone in the war. I lost my own brother. You just have to put it behind you. Get on with things. It would appear that's just what Louisa did. Huh? You have to think of the future. Look ahead to old age. We'd all like to go to the theater and smell of gardenias. There's nothing I should have liked better. You can be sure of that. We saw Flanders and Swan. You have your children, and you bring them up, and you say. So that then, when you're old and half paralyzed, and smelling of stale food, then there's someone young enough and fit enough to look after you. <sighs> She's only teaching him to knit. You think Mother will get married again? Would you like her to? Not if I had to pretend to love him and call him Daddy. Maybe you would love him. No, I wouldn't. I don't love anyone. Except you and Mother and Puck and Kevin Phillips. Aren't you going to tell my aunt to love Gran and Grandma and Elizabeth and Michael and Mark and Sarah? And that baby. You can't love people because you ought to. Maybe I could have loved Dick. Yes, I think you could. Did you ever see him without his beard? You've been here a long time. I'll take the tray since you've finished with it, Louisa. It was very good. It was very good, Faye. Sunday lunch. You better come with me, Jude. Mark and Sarah have been looking for you. Shall I switch the television on for you, Louisa? Jimmy Harvey, a beautiful ball played there for Alan Sunderland. And as David Harvey came Can out, I just stay and finish this row? It's not right teaching a boy to knit, especially for Jude. Eternal. <laughs> you were very proud of Elizabeth when she took up car maintenance classes. Where's the napkin? Come on, lady, don't you might help. Jude's in a mood. to undo that after you've gone. It's all wrong. Grass burns. Look, the grass is damp, stupid, and you can't light a bonfire with damp grass. It's not just your bonfire. I'm making it. It was Grandpa's elm tree. You can't own an elm tree, stupid. The tree just is. Anyway, a bonfire's no good without a guy. Without a guy, a bonfire's really boring. Oh, your bonfires are boring. You didn't even have a guy on fireworks night. Yes, I did. We never saw one. You liar, Jude. When did you burn him, then? Didn't burn him at all. I decided not to.
somebody's getting you down. Oh, you know I love to see you all. There are a lot of us. Don't be silly. Well, Constantia resents us, and we certainly seem to bring out the worst in Jude. Perhaps it shouldn't be every Sunday. What are you looking for? Biscuits. A new packet. Chocolate digestives. When Constantia and Jude have their own house, then they can decide who they'll have to Sunday lunch. Yes? Well, new packet. They'll never have their own house. Constantia saves all her wages. Oh, that's ridiculous. She could perfectly well pay you for their keep. Oh, well, don't begrudge them their food. I'd rather she save it. Oh, use the silver teapot. I've broken the lid to the china one. She should have claimed money from Dick. <laughs> oh, stubborn. You and father pay out for a pride, and Dick gets out of it scot-free. It's not right. Is she really trying to get a place of her own? <laughs> the rate she earns, Jude will be ready to leave home before she can afford anything. Why doesn't she get herself a proper job? Well, she likes it there. A shop assistant. Well, she's a shoe shop. She's a shop assistant. Well, at least it's real work. We all have to wear shoes. Then why not a dustman? We all have to have our refuge disposed of. I can think of worse. Have you seen the chocolate biscuits? No. Oh. We'll use these. Dignities in people, not jobs. Why is it more dignified bringing bedpans to old people than fitting their shoes or collecting their rubbish? I don't bring them bedpans. You know what I mean. And you know what I mean. Jude and I are all right. We are all all right. I'm going to take the trolley through. Bring the teapot when it's ready. Oh, and you better start the gong for the children. Too much for mother, you know. You, Jude, Aunt Louisa. She's nearly 60. Oh, she's 57. When I was 12, she was my age now. And when Jude's 34, I'll be just like she is now. Except that mother has got a marriage, a home, and uh, commitments. I hope I don't make him come and suffer Sunday lunch with me every week. Don't you ever wonder how your children see you? Well, there are two of us, so I don't expect they spend very much time thinking about it. When there are two of you, you're just their parents. And that's the way it's supposed to be. You and Michael, how it's supposed to be. At least we're still married. At least. Who told us not to bother you? Unnecessarily. I meant, don't bother me. He didn't look dangerous. What was he doing? Just lurking. Until he started talking to Jude. They were talking? Yes. Where is Jude? Yes, where is Jude? He can't go without meals all day. Jude! No, what's happened now? Michael's calling Jude in for tea. Jude! Jude! I'll get him. He's upstairs in his room. Michael! Michael! Mm. It's all right. Are you fed up? No. They'll be gone soon. Would you like it if he came back? <sighs> he won't come now, love. It's been too long. If he did? 
Oh, I expect I'd be pleased to see him. He makes you pleased to see him. But would you, if he came, be his wife like before? I don't want to love him again. It's been too long. You haven't married anyone else. I haven't met anybody that I've liked enough. What, like Aunt Louisa? Hmm, a bit. She gave me some yellow. Oh, that's nice. Can I do a row? If you want. Do people ask you? Men? I don't meet any. What work you do? Only their feet. Kevin says feet are supposed to be sexy. <laughs> Not with socks on. Oh, come on. One last effort. He's already too fat. Oh, we're all too old to be worrying about our figures. Jay, pack old thing. Ah, there you are. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um. Well? Don't pretend you don't understand. Who was that man in the garden? No one. What man? No one. The children saw you talking to a man. Well, I wasn't. Jude! He was! We saw you. Uh, perhaps it was next door about the eggs. Was it? It wasn't anyone. You liar. Sarah. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure think it did, rather. If there's a total stranger loitering in the grounds, engaging young children in conversation, you may not mind for Jude. Ellis, you could take Puck and have a quick look round the garden. Michael's just come in. There's no one there. Now? Jude, it's very important always to tell the truth. Otherwise, when you've got something that you really want to say, no one's going to believe you. Shut up! Uh, that's quite enough. I expect to be able to drink my tea in peace on a Sunday. Michael, can I top you up? Out of Granny's way. Thank you, Elizabeth. What about you? Some Madeira? Uh, no, no, thank you, Mother. Children, more tea? Well, then, I should think you could go off again and play. And be careful. I don't know what to do. We've done everything. Jude can teach us to knit. <laughs> How's it coming along, Jude? Okay. Can we see? Good God. You have done a lot. You really will have to go to boarding school. You, the knit. <laughs> the knit. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. What's it going to be? A giraffe scarf. It's not going to be anything. It's just knitting. Uh, Come on. Uh, what? what about monopoly? Oh, what about names? Mark the Dark. Sarah, without compare. Oh, Sarah, stop being so silly. It'll be on the same family, start with the same letter, instead of surnames. How would you know which letter? After the oldest man. The oldest woman. Oh, after Louisa, then. L. I'd be Lara. I'd be Locke. You'd be Locke, Pucky, how nice. Jude would be you. <laughs> <laughs> then when Aunt Louisa dies, it'll be Granny. Say. But you won't die. Not for ages. F. I'd be fairer. You'd be feud. <laughs> and Buckleby. Oh. Why don't you go out and play in the garden? Oh, you're so <laughs> stupid. I bet you don't even know what feud. Jude! Go to your room immediately. <laughs> the 
The sooner the boy's away to boarding school, the better. Dick will just have to pay for it. It's time he took some of the responsibility. I've never seen Brief Encounter. Goes on much too late. School in the morning. Unless we were home in time to see it there. We can't arrange our lives around the television. Jude, it's me. Can I come in? Can I come up? I brought you an apple. You've shaved off your beard. I feel such a fool. <laughs> it suits you. Like I'm done. No, I'll oh, come on. You're right. Yes, yes, I'm all right. That <laughs> came before lunch. I should have brought something. Thank you. I do feel a fool after such a long time. I was on my own this weekend. I, I couldn't help thinking that... You're very angry. Of course you must be. Perhaps I'd better go. <laughs> you must want me to go. Only I promised. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Shock. Yes. I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I thought it was Jude. He doesn't look like me. Not really. I, except the eyes. Perhaps just the eyes. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. You know how it is on your own. You, you start thinking and you end up dreaming and never even notice a shift. I had no right, no right at all. You are his father. You're entitled. Yes. Oh, yes, I am. And Jude's entitled. Yes. Have you got a cigarette? Sorry, I don't smoke. <laughs> of course not. Well, they could have started. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. Oh, dear. 
Look. We're all right, you know. It all works out. Oh, oh I'm such a fool. I didn't expect to feel... So stupid. I was just curious to see him. A photograph would have done. I didn't think I'd feel so... How did you feel? Attached. It's only blood. Just blood. It isn't the blood. It's the knowing. You should wash that. Oh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Oh, perhaps a handkerchief. <laughs> Never mind. I've never seen anybody else do that. Do you still eat chocolate cake in bed? <laughs> we were good friends, weren't we? I suppose. Elizabeth's got three children now. Two together and one just a baby. Have you... Still just the one. <clears throat> Are you and Eleanor still? Oh, yes. We're still, um... Yes. <laughs> you look exactly the same. Except for the beard. <laughs> well, you're looking good too. Not much to go, I suppose. I was sure you'd be here at Sunday lunch. It's not so bad. Immovable feast. <laughs> Where are you living? All right, it's all right. I, I won't come unless you ask me. I won't ask you. And you're not on your own? I think I'd go through it twice. Jude and I... We're living here now. You should have let me help out. We didn't need it. <laughs> now, it, it's all so long ago. I'd like to. It's not necessary. I, I'd like to. I can manage like this. Do you remember death in devices? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 37 publishers before Adrian took it. He went bankrupt. No, oh. well, I've still got all the rejection slips. It's not like that now, you know, just something for Jude. I saw you once on Nationwide, a long time ago. Well, they haven't succumbed. <laughs> oh, Louisa's. Oh, Louisa. Louisa. After you left, she... She looks a lot older now. You're looking really great, Con. Con, sometimes... I said six o'clock. I was early. 
Where were you? I was looking for you. I don't mind. I've finished your biscuits. You'll be looking for me soon. Connie. Why? When shall I see you again? We mustn't leave it another 12 years now we've done it once. Don't forget about the other. I'd be safe to come down now, wouldn't I? If you like. Street. Pay up. Pay up. You're on Liverpool Street. Liverpool Street's my new twit. Oh. Oh, there you are. Cup of tea? More tea. No, thanks. Your father likes his tea. Oh, take a cup to Louisa then, dear, will you? have a Renault at evening class. It's a Ford. A plug's a plug the world over. What are they doing? Testing out the car maintenance classes. Practicing? In earnest. Oh, please, God, don't make them have to stay the night. Fervent. Sunday. shortly. Can I stay and see it? That would be nice. Why have you come? Not to see you. And Constantia. And Constantia, but most especially you. I've always been here. <laughs> yes, yes, you have. But before, I thought that, well, Constantia might have you would have had a real father. It, it might but have you've been... come now. Yes, I have. Why did you shave off your beard? <laughs> oh, that was ages ago. I only had it for two or three years. I always thought of you with it. All that time, I thought of you wrong. Did you think of me? Sometimes. Oh, I thought of you quite a lot. And I imagined you all wrong, too. How did you imagine me? Like me. <laughs> you would have still been my real father, even if Mother had married again. You and I, well, it, it's only blood. I mean, if we didn't know, we wouldn't know. And she hasn't. Jude. <laughs> It's been 12 years, when I, I have another son too, you know. No. No, I didn't. You getting cold? I'm never cold.
I love this room. You're always so... always here. Jude loves you, too. Jude never saw me. I wish he'd known me then. He wouldn't want you any different. Aunt Louisa couldn't marry because David was killed in the war. I've seen his picture. And Mother can't because of you. And anyway, I wouldn't want her to... But she can still have friends. There are lots of ways of remembering people. It doesn't have to be in mourning. Louisa always seemed very happy. There was parties and dinners, evenings at the theatre. I met your mother at one of those parties. Boyfriends? You mean men? Now, Louisa was a very beautiful woman, and even now she must still be very fine. When would mother see men? <laughs> You're not a prude, are you? Choose the prude. Did you choose my name? Jude. It's a good name, that. No, we both chose it together. Don't you like it? Who was the one who thought it up? Who was the one who said, I know, we'll call him Jude? I don't remember. Kevin. Kevin Phillips. He's my friend. Only he's away at boarding school now. He's read that book, Jude the Obscure. And he said that everything Jude did turned out all wrong. Everything he tried to do failed, and his children all hanged themselves. Did they? <laughs> it was just the name that I liked. I knew it was you. It's a good fire. You and the Scouts? We go to lots of parties before the one where you met Mother. A few. Aunt Louisa's? Once or twice. Your boyfriend, then? <laughs> Louisa had lots and lots of friends. Were you? She was quite a lot older than I. I'll be looking for you, soon. Couldn't we just... Now come looking. Uh, I'm sorry, I... You don't like me. I didn't say that. You're not going to cry, are you? No, of course not. I've never seen a man cry. <laughs> Would it embarrass you? I'm not <laughs> supposed to. It's not manly, is it? I could let you look at my magic things if you like. Ah! <laughs> oh. What time is it? Oh, this tea's cold. Well, where is everybody? We'll have to stay the night. I want to go home. Well, perhaps that's it. Oh, look, it's not joined on. It's not meant to be joined on. It's a spanner. Michael thinks that I ought to send Jude to boarding school. It's not up to them. He'd hate it. I'd hate it. You don't think he's right. What does Dick think? Let's see what you've got. In here are my beautiful things. You're the only one. Not even Kevin. If you laugh... No, I, I don't feel like laughing.
Gran gave me this. Bible? Pages are so thin you have to blow them apart. And white. So white that ordinary white looks yellow. Look where the edges meet. Gold. 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 Look when I push them. Red. Like fire. And you can slap it and crack it. And the cover curls over, look. All the way round. Nearly keeps the gold secret. It is very beautiful. It's a bit dark, though, for reading. I don't have it to read it. I know all the stories. But do you believe in all that? Don't know. They're good stories. Where do you get that? Constantia. She had it younger than me. I don't remember it. Well, it's special, see? It doesn't weigh anything. You can't feel it. Just know that it's there. The photographs? Too dark to see them. I'll just show you this. <laughs> oh. It's a double one. It certainly is. Is it one of yours? No, it's Kevin's. He gave it to me. Kevin Phillips, that'd be. Can I have it back now, please? <laughs> These things, they're, they're all magic. just in themselves. It's not quite real magic, if you must know. More willing, if I want something to happen. Or again, if I don't. The beautiful things add the force of the beauty to the willing, but only if the willing is good. I do. That's magic. Does it work? Yeah. Well, sometimes it does. Well, I'm afraid I, I haven't really got anything I can show you. There's only this. It's heavy, isn't it? And it's warm. You're a writer? Mm -hmm. You don't write for me. I didn't know you. You right with this? No, I type mostly. Would that do for the tin? It is beautiful. Yes, that's what I thought. It's got an inscription. Who is E? You better have it back. It was a present. It'd be quite all right. Are you sure you're not cold? I told you. I bet you're colder than me. Here. Have my coat. I don't need it. Once I'd been ill after, uh, well, not germs, you know, depressed. They sent me to this group. Uh, it was a class, really, where we had to try to touch each other, just try to make contact. You have trouble that way? Making contact? No, not really. Sounds stupid to me. Yes, it was. You're right. I am cold. Should I go back, do you think? Make sure they're all right? Dick's not going to hurt him. But it's getting dark. 
Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Young boys don't feel the cold. You don't think that Dick... No, I don't. Dick always meant to be honest. <laughs> Look, they've even got Ellis out there now. Maybe it's run out of petrol. Something else? Want to see? Disgusting things. I'm not sure that I do. Well, they aren't juvenile. Not dogs, muck or worms. What then? Got these from Grant's study. Are you sure you won't tell? <laughs> He's bringing it home now, is he? Yes. Look at this. It's obscene. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, all that mess in the blood. And that's not the worst. See? Here, it's only half out. Sometimes I can't even look. Ah, oh, you've got it all wrong, Jude, you idiot. This is in the wrong box. I've seen a child born and I know. They let you watch? When it's yours, yes, they do. I'll be sick. Makes me sick. Oh, but there's been nine months to wait its coming. Watching it grow. No, it's yours. Lots of times you put your hand there and felt it move. If they do move, you know. You can even make out the shape. Look at all the blood and the slime. And the woman like that. It's revolting. Even if she... Oh, don't tell me it's not. But not when it's yours, when it's your own blood and your own woman. <laughs> it makes you cry when it's yours. I wouldn't cry. I'll throw up. How do you think it's your answer to the secret? So you've been waiting for for nine months. There he is. No, it's not that. It's not that at all. No, it's just another new secret born at the moment of birth. There he is, and who is he? Love without knowing. It's a miracle. Twelve years, and you still don't quite know. What do you want a disgusting box for, anyway? Don't go for a minute. Jude? What if this is our last chance to... Chance to what? Well, I thought that we might be... Be friends? Well, that you and Sam might, and you'd really get on. I don't play with little boys. <laughs> He's not a little boy. He's not that much younger than you. He's... How old is he? Oh, Jude, hold on. How old is he? He's 12, the same as you.
Jude. Stupid kids. 